I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. You sound as if you could use some help. How fortunate to see you. The, um, what was it? Troll, slayer or vanquisher? Whisperer? No matter. You clearly know how to get things done. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. Listen, a friend of mine in Feldcroft needs help fighting Rangrock's loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. I'll be able to put that to good use. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Rebellion. These rocks have seen better days. Rebellion. Ugh. <sighs> 
Revelio. Could it be a Merlin trial? So tricky after all, Merlin. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio.
Nevada. Confirm them. Defend them. Rebellion. Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa. Revelio. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Uh, uh, if a beast comes, Confringo. Expelliarmus. Bombarda. Come back here. <laughs> This is your first belly You may want to move. Bombarda. Defender. Confringo. No, not what you do. Confringo. Defender. Confringo. <sighs> Rebellion. Alohomora. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Repairer! Rebellion. Confringo. Arrest the momentum. Repair her. Thought we'd forget about that goblin. Protego! Defender! Compulsa! Confringo! My young friend. Marvelous strike! Huh? I'll steady a little lethal! Defender! Confringo! Oops! 
Expelliarmus. Uh, 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 Bombarda. You will dare slay one of my own. You will fall! Confringo. Uh, Defendo. Uh, what have you done? Depulso. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Revelio. Rebellion. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's lawyer. <laughs> 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 All the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. It's like a place right out of a story. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend Eddie? Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to...
Lebens. Arrest on momentum. Speed. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. You're worrying far too much. You had your reasons, but breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. 
Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours aren't... Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would. But I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Confringo! Defendo! Protego! Confringo! You might have joined the Ashwinders by now. The Absconder Assassin. That's a remarkable thing. Oh no, this must be Mary. Poor woman. If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. If this is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. Well, this isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. A ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there. <sighs> I 
big sacks. I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. That's one egg sack destroyed. I should get the rest. Defender! Expelliarmus! Bombarda! Kunfringo! Defender! Expelliarmus! Bombarda! Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. These eggs must be destroyed. Suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders.
that's the last one. She's angry. Still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit, and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary. What untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. Even so, you'll want to prepare yourself. The place needs something of a uh, clean-up. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. What sort of thing are we looking for? Nice doing business with you. Thank you for stopping in. Be sure to visit us again soon.
I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Well, there was a troll in the tomb. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry, that's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course, I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral.
Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestral's Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. of all the potions you've brewed.
Revelio. Muggle school is so dull. 